हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस सेकंड प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 13 व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द काइनेटिक्स ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स राइट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द टू बॉक्स कार्स ए एंड बी हैव अ वेट ऑफ 2000 पाउंड एंड 30000 पाउंड रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ दे आर फ्रीली कोस्टिंग डाउन द इंक्लाइन व्हेन द ब्रेक्स आर अप्लाइड टू ऑल द व्हील्स ऑफ कार ए राइट सो द ब्रेक्स आर अप्लाइड टू कार ए ओनली एंड इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमाइन द फोर्स इन कपलिंग सी बिटवीन द टू कार्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द फोर्स बिटवीन द कपलिंग राइट एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट वी हैव टू फाइंड द फोर्स एंड फर्दर इट इज सेड दैट द कोफिशेंट ऑफ काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द व्हील्स ऑफ ए एंड द ट्रैक इज 0.5 and the wheels of car b are free to roll neglect their masses in the calculation so we have to neglect the masses of the wheels right so now for this what i will do is that i will consider uh, this box a first right let's say this is our box a right and let's say that this is our positive x and y direction right so what will happen is that uh, normal force will be acting perpendicularly to the inclined plane and this inclined plane is making 5 degree so this will be our normal force which will be applied to this box a let's say this is an a and the weight will be acting vertically downward like this right so this weight will have two components this is, since we are considering this as box a so the mass of box a is 20000 pounds so if we resolve this 20000 pounds since uh, if if i if i extend the line of action of this weight so it will be perpendicular to this horizontal line and this line this dashed line is perpendicular with the inclined plane so the angle uh, of the inclined plane with the horizontal is 5 degrees so this means that this 2000 pound uh, weight is making 5 degrees with the uh, with the normal as well right so this is that 5 degree angle so if we resolve this uh, weight into its component so we will have two components this one will be the sine component and this one will be the cos component right so we can say that this is 20000 cos of 5 degrees and this one is the sine component right so this is 20000 sine of 5 degrees so now if i consider only uh car a and if i apply the summation of forces along y and since there is no the summation of forces along y is will be equal to m a y but in the y direction there is no acceleration so that means that a y equals to 0 right so from this equation we will get that summation of forces along y will be equal to 0 so now if we apply this so then as we can see that uh, in the y direction we have in the positive y we have this an a force right so this is an a and this cos component is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 20000 cos of 5 degrees and this will be equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of equation so we will get an a equals to 20000 cos of 5 degrees now uh, is in the problem statement it is said that the brakes are applied to this car a so what will happen is that there will be a friction develop and that friction force will be acting in the opposite direction like this that will be in the opposite direction of the motion right so uh here we will have the friction force which will be acting in the opposite direction right and this friction force will be equal to mu k times n a right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right so as we can see that this is our positive x direction right so this will be our Uh, we we can write it as mu k and a so i will write mu k and mu k is 0.5 right so this is 0.5 so i will write 0.5 and a and and a is now known which is 20000 cos of 5 degrees and then we will have this 
uh, force which is acting in the negative x direction and it is the sine component of the weight. So, this will be minus 20,000 sine of 5 degrees and there will be one another force since we are considering only this box uh, box A or car A. So, when the brakes are applied what will happen is that this car A will apply the force on block B in the opposite direction and as a reaction this car A will apply the force on uh, this car B will apply the force on car A in this direction right. So, we will have that one another force which is required to be determined this will be the force of the coupling right. So, we will, let us say that we, we are interested to find this force F right. So, now while applying this equation we will have one another force which is acting in the negative uh, x direction. So, we have to subtract it. So, this will be equal to minus 5 and this will be equal to m a a x right since we are considering uh, only this car a. So, the mass of car a will be equal to if the mass of car a will be 20,000 divided by the value of g and the value of g is 32.2 feet per second right. So, this will be this is the m a mass times a x right. So, now when we solve this so we get uh, 82.18 right. So, from these two terms we get 82.8218.83. So, 82.18.83 minus f and this will be equal to uh, 20,000 divided by 32.2. So, this gives us 621.12, 621.12 ax right. So, this is our equation 1 right. Now, after this what we will do is that we will consider both the cars right. So, now I will draw that another car as well right. So, we will have that car B and now we are considering the motion of both the cars simultaneously right. So, now we can say that both the cars are attached to each other right and then we will have that same uh, normal force on this car B and that will be N B. This N A will not be equal to N B, but we will have some normal force here right. And then similarly the weight of this car B will be acting vertically downward and again it will have two components. It will have one component like this and it will have one component and that same 5 degree angle is also acting here. This weight is 30,000 pounds. Again this one will be the sign component and this one will be the cost component right. And since the brakes are only applied by car A, so there will be no friction force right. Since the wheels of car B are rolling right. So, now if we consider both cars together and if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x right. So, as we can see that again uh, now we now this this is the sign component this is 30,000 sine of 5 degrees which is acting in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus 30,000 sine of 5 degrees. Similarly, <coughs> this sign component is acting in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus 20,000 sine of 5 degrees. And similarly, this mu k and a is acting in the positive x direction. So, I will write plus and mu k is 0 0.5 and n a is this thing which is 20,000 cos of 5 degrees and this will be equal to m a x. But since we are considering both the cars together, now the mass will be equal to the masses of m1 and m2 both the cars right. So, now we can add up the uh, the weight of 
the total weight will be equal to W1 plus W2 which is equal to 50,000 that is 20,000 plus 30,000 is 50,000 and if we divide this 50,000 by 32.2 so we will get the the masses of both the cars together right so the mass will be equal to 50,000 divided by 32.2 so we will put it here right so this is the the total mass of both the cars right so now we can write that this will be 50,000 divided by 32.2 right remember that both the cars will move with same acceleration since both the cars are attached to each other right and if we consider only car a so again that car a will move with that same acceleration right so that is why we will we are having a x in both the equations right so now if we simplify this now if i if i take sine 5 from both of these terms common right so if i write sine of 5 degrees then we will have minus 3000 mi uh, minus 30000 minus 20000 so this will give us minus 50000 right so i will write minus 50000 plus 0 0.5 into this right so 0 0.5 into 20,000 cos of 5 degrees and this will be equal to this thing right so let me simplify it so minus 50,000 sine of 5 degrees plus 0 0.5 in 20,000 cos of 5 so this is 5604.16 and this will be equal to if we divide uh, 50,000 divided by 32.12 so this gives me 1556.66 ax and if I divide both sides by 1556.66 so we will get that acceleration of both the cars So, 5604.16 divided by answer. So, this gives me acceleration equal to 3.60, 3.60 feet per second square. And now, if you want to find the coupling force, so we need to put that acceleration value in this equation that equation 1. So, from equation 1, if I bring this f to the other side and I bring this to to this side so we will have that equation like this this will be 8218.83 minus 621.12 ax will be equal to that force that coupling force so now from this equation we can write that coupling force will be equal to 8218.83 minus 621.12 and ax is 3.60 right so this is a 2 82.18.83 minus 621.12 into 3.60 so this is equal to 5982.79 right so we can say that 5982.80 approximately pounds So now this is the required acceleration of both the cars, right? And this is the force at the coupling, right? So I hope you people would have understood the solution of uh, this particular problem. Kindly like my videos if you people think that they are helping you in your learning. Also subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions.